Hey there, it is day 27 of the 123 Draw 30 Day Challenge, and today we're going to look at drawing a basic human eye. So, to get started, you are going to be in the center of your paper and draw a circle. So, I'm going to make that circle about the size of a nickel or a dime or a quarter, but maybe not too much bigger than that, or I would run out of room. Now, I'm sketching this and trying hard to make it a real circle because um, your iris is pretty perfectly circular. All right, so I've got a lot of sketchy lines, but that's going to be colored dark. Like that's the pupil of your eye and it is jet black. So later I'll color it. But right now I know that that's the circle. The next part will be the iris. So the pupil of your eye, now the iris of your eye. This I'm going to draw specifically real light because number one, I want it to be a perfect circle. So I want to be able to make mistakes. But number two, part of this will go under the eyelid. So I'm going to have to erase it. So I don't want to have to, you know, have a real dark line that I can't get rid of. So I really want this to look like a perfect circle inside a circle. Yes, I could find things and trace things, but we're sketching, which is, you know, all the more um, fun to try to make it look perfect, even though we know that it's not. All right, so that's going to be the eye, and I have plenty of room to draw the eyelid and some eyelashes. I'm going to use a one-stroke method over this to make like a rainbow arc that crosses through this circle. So this is going to get cut off just a little bit, I'm trying to make this like a real smooth ride. Like I don't want there to be any bumps on the rainbow. Okay, so we've got that part of the eye done. I am going to turn upside down, but this time when I make this part, I am only going to graze the donut. So it's barely going to touch it. And in fact, if you look in the mirror, some people, their iris does not touch the lower lid. Um, and if you're very surprised, your upper lid could even show the white of your eye. Okay, so now I'm going to flip back around and I've got the basic eye shape. Now I'm going to be refining that as we go along, but we're definitely not going to see through the lid. So we'll get rid of that. And while we're up there, let's work on this part of the eye, the upper lid. I'm going to start with coloring back here, starting like right where the lid ends and I'm going to give it some shadow. All right, so now if you were into colored pencils and you wanted to give this like a lady's eye shadow, this would be a fun thing to do. All right, so I am just gonna blend that out now with my finger because this is a soft shadow. Everybody has this shadow here and depending on the shape of your eyes, you could have a really big crease there. So some people, and um, it doesn't matter what age you are, you might have a very dark crease back here. So you could add that like I said, look in the mirror or look up pictures. There's so many variations of eyes, which makes us also more, much more interesting to look at when you're learning to draw different people. All right, so now to finish this upper lid, we're going to make this part more precise, like a little bit more intentional of a line. And that line is now going to get a little shadow because this part is like a piece of skin that holds all the eyelash growth above. All right, so I'm gonna take my blender here and I'm gonna kind of give that some shadow to make it look a little thicker. Okay, now we're gonna draw, draw eyelashes. For eyelashes, I'm gonna ask you to turn your paper sideways like this. Um, too often I get um, students who you know feel like they're unhappy with the eyes after they've drawn the eyelashes and they look like the eyes have grown insect legs. So we're going to look at it like this. This first eyelash that we make is going to be like a line that starts here and falls down and curves. And it could curve up past that lid a little bit. But do you see how it's it's just a very nice natural line? And that's what I want you to try to aim for. So you're touching that shadow and you're coming down a little bit, but you're keeping that same motion. Now we can work our way back and we're just going to go up, but we're going to try to follow the lead of that first eyelash. 
and you can stop at any point. So if you're starting to feel like it's enough for you, that's fine. But you can also go back and try to land on them and make them the darker. But if you don't land on them, let them be because that'll make it look like you have more lashes there without intentionally making 10,000 lashes on this upper lid. All right, so now I've darkened and I've added, but I'm onto the bottom lid. So now for this, I'm going to do one more intentional sharpened line, but right here, most people have a curve and it's more drastic on some than it is on others. Almost like when we were doing um, the seeds as a curved point. All right, I'm going to draw that make that come out. And then I'm going to run my blender under this. And this is also going to be where the eyelashes grow out from under. I'll put a little bit more pencil here. Let's just see this. There we go. And this is a good spot for a blender, but a pencil would work, or a finger would work too. Okay, now we're going to come under this line. And we're going to go sideways again. And you can pick any spot to start. Like I said, I like to do the middle. And make them look like they fell down. Like they're pointing. Everything's gradually going down. So I'm going to make very small, faint lashes here. I could go back and add some more over there if I feel like, and not too many again. Now, as I get up to here, I stop. And I'm going to say my bottom lashes are done because I don't want them to be very dark. All right, so now while we're here, why don't we go ahead and to dress this area? I don't know what this is called. If anyone knows, uh, we should look that up. All right, so this part is like flesh. So it's like skin, but it's wet. And we're going to give it some shadow there and a little bit of blender. Make it look like we drew something there. And we'll come into here and start with the iris. So we'll still stay out of the pupil for a minute. And for the iris of the eye, you really should look in the mirror because everyone's iris has different little characteristics to it. But one thing it has in common is the opening and closing mechanism that um, occurs. So there are lines in your eyes. And if your eyes are dark, you have to really look. But Inside your eyes, we're going to do radial symmetry. That line's going to be short, but pretend it went all the way across and cut the eye in half. And then this one is going to cut the eye in half like that. And then this one going crisscross like this. All right, now you don't have to cross through the pupil. I'm just trying to show you that that's how nice and even these lines should be. And when you color the eye, you're going to stay using a motion that keeps in the pattern of straight lines between those two. So I'm not going to tilt and go sideways. I'm just going to spin the picture and color up and down like this. Now people who have eyes that are more than one color, sometimes you really notice these patterns. Um, for instance, somebody with hazel eyes, sometimes you can see like all of the lines and there'll be like patches like Maybe the center around here is like extra dark. Maybe it's a different color. You know, it's, it's really interesting how different um, eye types have different little patterns to them. But this part, this opening closing mechanism, no matter how dark or different your eye color is, it will remain the same. So I have another example of a different way of coloring your eyes, but you could really experiment with this or look up a bunch of different eye colors and see. So here's one that I did with just a very smooth surface. And then here's another one that I did where I made the outer rim have a deeper coloring job. So perhaps you'd like to, you know, extend yours to look something like that or get color pencils out again. All right. So the final step on this is going to be to do the iris or the pupil and, um, uh, I've seen photographs that the light reflects a little hexagon shape up there. So if you're good at drawing a hexagon, which I never seem to do well, um, you could make this a hexagon. You can make it a square. You could just make it a circle, but it's going to remain white. You can also put multiple specks of white, but this part, you are going to color jet black. So you're going to try to get this graphite to be so dark that it's shiny. 
And you're going to stay out of any other area so that you don't get that white area gray because it's really hard to go back and um, get that to turn white again once you've gotten something gray in such a hard area to erase with. And you are done. So that is the basics of drawing a human eye. And we are off to do day 28 tomorrow. So we're closing in on the 30 day challenge. Um, in case you're wondering what we're gonna do after the 30 days, um, I promised my students that we would play Simon Says Draw. And we're gonna still do the one, two, three draw at 123, but they're gonna tell me what to draw and I'm gonna have to draw on command. So uh, please join us and continue after the 30 day challenge is over. Have a great day.